I want to officially welcome everybody to what, this is the royal wedding. <laughs> this is what many of us, friends and family, have been referring to for probably the last 12 months as the royal wedding. But we do have to pay homage to God for bringing these two families together and for letting the love Michelle and Brian have not only encounter each other, but grow into a relationship that now opens up the whole future for them in a way that was not possible before. Days like this, words are insufficient. They're, they're not enough to express the love that Michelle and Brian have for each other. So we're gonna let them express what needs to be expressed. Michelle is so great. I mean, she has kind of this sense of humor that just lights up a room. It's a sneaky sense of humor. Um, she's so easygoing, go with the flow. She's somebody that all of the type A Haydens in the room could really use in their lives. It's so true. It is so true. Michelle and I have become such close friends over the past couple of years, and this is where I'm gonna start to cry. Um, I'm so thankful to have you in my family for the rest of my life. You could not fit in any better in my family. And everybody that's met you in my family could not love you anymore. And I understand because they've been totally obsessed with you from the first time they've met you, just like Brian was. And you could not find somebody that is gonna love you more than Brian does. That is a true fact and everyone knows that. As we've gotten older, the table has completely turned. I find myself trying to copy her clothes. I go to Michelle for advice now and try to hang out with her and her friends pretty much all of the time. <laughs> I look up to Michelle in so many ways. I love having a sister that's also my best friend. We lived together for four years after she graduated college and it was pretty much the best time of my life. Until now, Shane. <laughs> It's been a little traumatic not having immediate access to each other's closets, but luckily we still live just four blocks apart. and it's, you know, it's 11.30 and finally there's two, there's two sets of us out there and another father and his 15-year-old daughter and he comes over and he goes, you don't realize, but we're always the last to leave. And I go, not anymore, buddy. <laughs> so they had a battle and finally the, the disc jockey, he, he, had, he says, I gotta go home. So the two of them just looked at each other and slowly backed off to go off at the same time. So I, thought, I knew I had a live one on my hands when I saw that one. <laughs> Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. You know, the first time I heard about Michelle, I heard, you know, Brian is dating someone. She went to UW and I thought, excellent start. <laughs> and then I heard she was a KD. But I also heard she was an excellent soccer player. And when I met her, 
I realized what a beautiful, smart, and incredible girl she really is. Brian, you're a very lucky guy. freshman run out onto stage dressed completely in pink and sparkles from head to toe. So he runs onto stage and launches out into the crowd. He was attached by a rope and went spinning around in circles over our heads, waving his wand and twinkling his fairy toes <laughs> with When You Wish Upon a Star playing in the background. Who would have thought that flying pink fairy would end up marrying my little sister? <laughs> Long past happy endings Just two of us pretending But we're so good that love reappears oh, and then When I moved up to Seattle, I swear I would have turned around and moved right back to Portland had Brian not been up there. It was the first time that we'd really had the opportunity to become close. You know, he left for college when I was in sixth grade, so I was always that annoying little sister until the time that I moved up to Seattle. Brian and I would carpool to and from work every day, and one day in particular on the way home, I could tell that he was kind of giddy. So and he's like, I'm going out on a date tonight, and uh, you know the girl. And I'm thinking, oh God, please don't be one of my friends. I will never forget that night that he went out with her. I swear to God, he was obsessed with her right away. He, weird. He calls me and he's like, oh my God, she's like a celebrity. You know, everyone there knew her and everyone was coming up to our table and like trying to talk to her. You know, she drives a Jeep just like me. She's so cool. And our dads are both Republicans. You know, like what more, what more could he want? Brian went to UW and I went to Oregon State. We've actually never lived in the same state since. But Brian's the kind of friend that when I talk to him, when we email, when we see each other in person, we can pick up right where we left off. Uh, he's my best friend and somebody that is really my brother. You're my brother and uh, I love you for that. Like most brothers, I would say that really after about 48 to 72 hours of uh, time spent together, we really start to get on each other's nerves. <laughs> we've argued plenty and we've laughed more. I would say, Bri, you're one of the most determined, hardworking, impressive people I've ever met in my life. It really occurred to me what a special person Brian really is. I mean, in fact, Brian is just downright wild. <laughs> You know, describing Brian, I started to think, if I'm going to give a long speech about Brian, it probably should have a name. But I thought, what would I name the speech? <laughs> First, I thought maybe Brian the athlete. Or maybe Brian the closer. <laughs> Brian the prince. Brian the daredevil. Brian the dancer. Brian the showman. In closing, it was great to be so close to a sibling growing up, sharing so many fun and exciting experiences. I've watched Brian grow up from a wild child into a responsible adult. Don't laugh. It makes me happy that Brian was able to find the girl that makes him so happy.
welcome everyone to this beautiful place, this day that we've been expecting for months and years in preparation. It's finally upon us. We're so happy to have all of you here from uh, near and far, Seattle and beyond, to be part of this beautiful celebration of man and woman exchanging vows for life. friends, you have come here together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community here at St. Monica. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism and now enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you now to state your intentions. Brian and Michelle, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yes. Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? Yes. No. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and His church? Yes. No. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, Join your hands and declare your consent before God and His church. Stay right here with me. I, Brian, take you, Michelle, to be my wife. I, Michelle, take you, Brian, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life all the days of my life. May the Lord bless these rings which you will give to each other as a sign of your love and fidelity. Michelle, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Brian, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Everyone here gathered today on this joyous occasion, Mr. and Mrs. Hayden. Michelle, over the past couple years, I've gotten to know you so well. Emily and I both think the absolute world of you. Aside from obviously being gorgeous, 
an incredibly bright and a fantastic person. I think I speak for everybody in this room tonight when we say thank you because you let our friend be himself. You make him happy. You make him so happy, and not just myself, but everybody will last night and tonight will say that. He's got a glow on him that I've certainly never seen with anybody else. So thank you. You are a lucky guy, and I am so proud of you. Today I was like walking down the aisle and saw you at the end, and I just was, I was bawling instantly. So I'm so proud of you. And I am one lucky girl to have you as a brother and a great friend. April showers become distant memories. It's a beautiful day to be with you. It's a beautiful day to be with you. Michelle, you are awesome. It has been my pleasure to get to know you over the past few years. You're truly a sweet and wonderful person. And I'm so happy that you're now part of our family. Brian, it's been really fun getting to know you and your family and friends these last two years. I couldn't ask for a better brother-in-law. If everyone could please raise their glasses. Cheers to Brian and Michelle. Thank you for bringing so many fun people together tonight. I can't wait for the dance party that's about to happen. <laughs> you two make a great couple and we're all so happy for you. Michelle better, I totally understood why he was obsessed with her right away. And when I got to know her family better, I even understood more. Um, in fact, I really don't know how I ever partied before I met the deals. I'm being serious. Like, I, there's always customized tank tops and sunglasses, fanny packs. I mean, seriously, if none of you guys have ever been to a deal celebration, you are in for a treat. presence of the one of the bigger power couples in Seattle. I would say that Brian and Michelle's elegance and attention to detail would also be fitting for what is the royal wedding. trip down that aisle today was something. We were back there and it looked so long to me, didn't it? <laughs> and you were all smiling at us and we were really excited and we were just taking our time chatting and it was really great.
probably this is the first wedding I think I've ever been to where I think not only the father of the groom, but the father of the bride could probably out party every single person in this room and probably will do so tonight. together for a while now we're growing stronger every day now it feels so good and there is no doubt i will stay with you as each morning brings the sunrise and the flowers bloom in springtime on my love and you can rely and i'll stay with you guys are so perfect together, it's almost nauseating. And everyone is going to say that tonight, but you really are. You truly are, and I know that because every time you guys are together, you laugh so hard until you cry. In conclusion, it's a true honor to be up here. Brian, you're my best friend. And our family, both I speak for myself and Emily and our daughter Carter, we look forward to the next 22 years and the rest of our lives together, so thank you. Though relationships can get old, they have the tendency to grow cold. We have something like a miracle, yeah. And I'll so they're out in the no man's land of Mariner Stadium watching the baseball game, except they weren't really watching the baseball game. They're both pretty social, so they're social butterflies out there. Brian comes up and sees Michelle and comes over and goes, hi. Michelle grabs her signature glasses and turns and says, hi. Brian turns and goes, I'm Brian. <laughs> Michelle turns around and goes, well played. <laughs> but I have one question. What do you think of pesos? <laughs> so Brian looks at her and goes, pesos is my mecca. And in that moment, Michelle was here. So beautiful and divine And we'll be lovers for the lifetime Yeah, and I'll stay with you Oh, I will stay with you Through the ups and the downs Yes, I will Oh, I'm gonna stay when no one else is around And when the dark clouds Brian and Michelle together make a magnificent couple. A prince and his princess, two athletes, two showmen, two closers, two daredevils, two dancers. The two of you are perfect for each other. I will stay.